Hello, good morning. I hope that you had a great weekend. Well, uh, after hearing that uh, terrible news of the passing of um, the sweet lady, Ebony, we hope that, um, of course, Esso is resting in peace, but we have to pick up the pieces and move on. And so we have some great advice for all of us, uh, and we're starting this way. What you allow is what will continue. Because maybe there's someone, either in your workplace, in your community, or somebody in your home, could be... Uh, somebody relatively your child your spouse etc who is draining your energy or you have some just um, unhealthy eating habits or just some negative character traits or maybe you doubt yourself and your abilities is there anything your life did that you are allowing and would like to change is a question that we all tend to ask ourselves very often as we end this week this is my advice to you you must take personal responsibility Mm -hmm. You cannot change the circumstances, the season or the wind. But there's one thing you can do. You can change yourself. That is something that you have. And uh, it's something that um, you also have to take charge of. What you allow is what definitely is going to continue. And my wish for you is that you will only allow positive thoughts. Those that uplift you, give you joy, and you allow the things in your life that would always make you happy. So mark it down. They will always continue. Pure joy is what I want for you. The kind you just can't keep in or hide. I hope that we, we all will pick some positive thoughts out of what we have because we are the only people who can change ourselves and be what we want to be. And today on the show, well, we'll be talking about ending the north to south migration in search of non-existent jobs. It always has been happening. And our focal point today is a young girl who left the north to do kayaye or a kayayo job here uh, down south or in Accra. And now she wants to go back north to tell her people that there's nothing really down south. So our aim is to tell her story. And also solicit for funds to help her buy a sewing machine so she can go back up north and start her own trade and sewing school. And um, well, we have our senior broker journalist, Jojo Kobner, and the president of the Kaya Association joining us for that great conversation. And that, that young lady we'll be featuring today is just one of several or even of thousands of young ladies who troop down south to make sure at least they eke a living and also make ends meet. Hmm. And then we'll be having a great conversation with some senior high school graduates who had no hopes of feathering their education, though they had good grades. But thanks to the intervention of our central regional correspondent, Richard Kojinyako, their dreams are gradually falling into place. So we'll be telling the story of impactful journalism using Richard Kujunya Kun's story as a case study. Uh, you will enjoy it definitely. I watched just a piece of it. It was a, it was a great, great, great feature put together. And then we'll also be talking about the National Science and Maths Quiz Regional Contest. You know about that, right? And the Central Region has seen some upset with the St. Augustine's College and infants, man, girls being bitten at the regional level. <laughs> well. The competition will continue, but we'll be looking at it also. And we'll be roving somewhere close to you. And uh, we hope that you will enjoy it all. We'll be wrapping up with entertainment as always. We will have brought you the latest news headlines, the latest review of the newspapers, and of course, the latest post stories with Benedict also. Thanks for joining us. Please interact with us on mm -hmm. Facebook, Join News on TV. We have a Twitter handle at Join News on TV. And you can always watch us live through our YouTube channel, my Joy Online TV. Now we have to bring you the latest news headlines. Stick and stay. We'll be right back.